was good way family let me straighten up all of this make sure everything is cool put that lighting do and we straight we good to go let me pop out this chat so I can see what y'all up to. See who in the building. You already know I'm rocking the 3WP. Simple, silky, do-rag, the blue edition. Setting up this dang thing. Hey, what's good with you, Tim? What's good with you? What's up, Chaos? What's up, Jay Wavy? What's up, Christian? My bad, y'all. I, I had to give me some young jumbo juice before I came because I didn't really eat nothing <clears throat> like that today yet because I was working. You know what I mean? You got to stay working, y'all. If you ain't putting in no regular work, you got to put in some brush work. What's up with you, Mr. Green Bean? What's up, Jared? We got Michael Jr. in the building. I see Zay. Y'all been putting in brushwork? What's good? All right. This year is almost over. How many people are we, we going to talk right here? If you just started trying to get 360 waves for the first time this year, press 5. All right, we're gonna see how many people just started this year. <clears throat> I'm gonna repeat it one more time. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> if you just started trying to get 360 waves this year, press five. What I'm trying to figure out is, <clears throat> for those of you who pressed five, how has your journey been so far? Have you made good progress? Have you made as, as much progress as you uh, wanted? Is your progress not coming out how you expect it? What's the deal? So I see we got a lot of waivers who just started their journey this year. <clears throat> so talk to 3WP Rashad. Let me see what's up. Let me see how y'all doing. <clears throat> <coughs> king king of no king t said his journey has been going bad so far <clears throat> tendo says he has no progress ks12 said he need help with the size and i think brp i think that means bad <clears throat> wow. So somebody said their progress is already starting to show. What's, it, what's up with you, Clam God? Nosy? My wave's too small, says Mam Mambaro. Bye. So, what particular area would y'all feel? Y'all need the most help with. Is it the top? Is it the sides? Is it the connections? Because this video is supposed to be about connections. Straight, straight hair tips, says Angel. So when you a beginner, one of the most important things that you have to understand is that you need to train your hair to lay down. When you first start out, your hair doesn't lay down on its own. So you need to put in major, like when I say major, I mean major brush work, all right? You need to just be going at it. It's like boom, 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 boom. All throughout the day, 
especially if you have super coarse hair, especially if you have hair like mine or hair that is even more coarse than mine. A lot of you guys have the same hair texture as me, but it, it, you may not think so because, you know what I mean, my hair looks different now that it's waved up and that it's healthy, but I got the same hair texture as a lot of y'all. And you gotta have to put in major brushwork, as I was saying. Your hair doesn't lay down on its own. It naturally grows out like an afro. So what you're gonna need to do is put in major brushwork so that as your hair grows, it starts to learn that, okay, is I'm getting brushed down so much, I'm, about, I'm just gonna start laying down. You see what I mean? That's what your hair basically does when you put in so much brush work. And then it just start laying down on its own. It start growing in the direction that you brush. But it does it in a laid down fashion. And because your hair is so curly, you know what I mean? That's when your waves start to pop out. When you first start, you know what I mean? You can start brushing a little bit. After probably a week or, or even a month, you'll see the tap pose coming in. That's just because your hair is starting to realize, okay, I need to lay down this way because I'm getting brushed this way so much. When you first start out, you start to you start to notice like that your waves might look kind of crooked or they're not formed fully, right? They're not connected. It's just like kind of erratic. And that's a normal thing when you're a beginner, y'all. You gotta understand that. Don't be so scared. At that stage, like a lot of y'all come, y'all be like, Rashad, man, my wave is crooked. I just started. They, they look messy. You got to overcome that stage of, of being a waver. And as you keep that brush work up, as you woof, because woofing is very important. As you keep those woofing sessions and you keep your brush work up, you sleep with that do rag, because that do rag is very important, all right, in the beginning stages. Sure, you don't need a do-rag to get waves, but as y'all heard me say plenty of times, that do-rag is gonna make your job and your process a lot mu like much more easy. I can't get a do-rag. Why can't you get, can I get a do-rag? What you mean? <clears throat> I should tell Instagram that I'm live right now. On I mean, on YouTube, yep, that's what I should do. I'm gonna tell them real quick. Well, let me tell Instagram I'm live. This thing don't even want to turn around. This this thing be glitching, man. What's good, Instagram? It's me, 360 Wave Process Rashad, and I'm live on YouTube right now. Say what up, y'all. They lit in the live stream, and come through. It's lit. I'm answering all the questions y'all got about 360 waves. See y'all there. What's good, Instagram? It's me. I gotta do that one over. <clears throat> What's good, Instagram? It's me, 360 wave process Rashad. And I just want y'all to know that I'm live on Instagram. I mean, I'm not live on Instagram. I'm live on YouTube. All right, go to the 360 wave process. YouTube channel and join the live stream. Say what up. They lit in the chat. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna see y'all on the live stream over there on YouTube. 3WP out. All right, I, I, I mess with that one right there. I could do that one. What's good, Instagram? It's me. All right, let me just um, post this on Instagram real quick. <clears throat> Uh, Y'all ready? What up with you, Mene? The top wave, the tap pose is barely in there, says Tim. All right, Tim, you got to overcome that stage. What's up with you, Javon? I feel like I'm watching X Factor auditions. <laughs> Why you feel like that, bro? I'm over here trying to uh, post this on Instagram. All 
All righty, I'm posting it. Not bad, draw. I just got to put these hashtags on here. Excuse my language, but how the F do you get rid of these forks? I've been trying for too damn long, says Jamie Barber. So I'm wondering what your forks look like and how bad they are. Because what you need to understand is <clears throat> usually for most people, the way that forks um, occur is through an inconsistent brushing stroke pattern, all right? For example, if I brush my waves like this, you see what I mean? That's one smooth brush pattern, right? If I just hit it like that all the time. That will cause a uniform wave pattern, right? With minimal to no forks. But the issue would be and how you would get those forks is, let's just say you go like that, you know what I mean? You even come right here, you keep that consistent even when you cross over like this, because a lot of people, when they cross over, they, they change up the angles. So that's what you really got to understand. That's why in one of my videos in the past, I was like, if you're a beginner, don't cross over. All right. But look, if you, if you cross over, you keep it consistent like that, you're good. But let's just say you come with this hand and you just start brushing. You see that? That's a different angle. And so you'll have a smooth pattern right here. But when it when it comes time for them to connect right here, if you if you um, over time keep brushing like this, whenever you have it in, in this hand with that different angle, then you're going to cause some forks to occur around this area, because for one, you're training this pattern to go this way, so all those hairs are trying to go that way, and then at the same time you start training it to go this way. It's going to be a part where they overlap. In this area right here where those two brushing angles interlap you're gonna have a fork so what you have to do to break those forks is basically start brushing in that area in them in a uniform like brushing pattern basically that's all i'm trying to say so prop find that spot and make sure you just hit it consistent with the same brush angle Joshua says, help me send me a brush, please. We're going to do a giveaway in a few. So, you know what I mean? Hopefully you win, Joshua. Stay tuned. Can we see the progress? Says Mr. Man Music. Math. I can't see that well. The names are small right there. What type of brush should I use? Hard brush, medium brush, or soft brush. I suggest to use, as a beginner, a medium brush or hard brush. You can use the 3WP Blue Edition medium brush, and then pretty soon we got the, um, the 3WP Red Edition. I don't know where the, they're coming out next month in December. But this one right here, as I mentioned, I was gonna classify this as a hard brush, but honestly, this is not even a hard brush, y'all. This is more of a medium feel. But the thing about it is, it's like, it's a firm medium. It's more firm than the 3WP Blue Edition. And that's the thing about this one. And that's honestly a good thing. Like, I, I really like the way this feels right here. This 3WP Red Edition with the handle. And I think y'all gonna like this too. <clears throat> because when I first dropped the blue editions, as y'all know, those were like pretty firm. It, like, <laughs> excuse me, <clears throat> they didn't blend this that well. All the fruit up in there. But yeah, you already know, Dory, Dorji. What about stray hair, man? Do I do the same? Yes, sir. If you have a straighter hair texture, 
then you know what I mean? The wave process is pretty much the similar, it's like it's pretty much the same for you as for me or any of us, you know what I mean? Except for you just have minute differences and just how your hair is affected by certain products. You have differences in the length that you need to keep your hair to maintain your wave progress. You got differences in um, basically, what else do you have differences in? Oh, you have differences in the speed at which you see progress. You got differences in the speed in which you can lose progress. Like it's, it's those small minute differences. But besides that, everything is pretty much the same. For example, if I go into further detail about just those differences. For me, as a coarse hair waver, um, I cut my hair at a much lower length than the straighter hair waver like you, if you were a straight hair waver. Like for example, I could cut my hair to a one with the grain, and I could cut my hair to a double zero, and I could still, you know what I mean, have my wave pattern in there nice and deep, looking very well. But if you are a straight hair waver, then um, for most straight hair wavers, as I learned from, you know what I mean, being in the wave game, straight hair wavers don't cut their hair that low because um, when they cut their hair to a certain length that's too low, their hair, their weight, like their hair texture just becomes more straight than curly and then they lose progress. So. As a straight hair waver, you got to figure out, okay, what's the best length to cut my hair? Is it a 2.5? Is it a 2? You know what I mean? Is it a 3 with the grain for you? I don't know. You got to figure it out. My birthday was yesterday. Happy birthday, Bryce. Everybody say happy birthday to Bryce. I hope you had a good birthday, man. Bryce Davis. Joshua Aaron. I brushed my slides down. Is that okay? So Joshua asked a very good question. He says, <clears throat> he said he brushed his, his sides down like this. Is that good or bad? That's cool, man. It's basically going to have your wave pattern on the side come out more horizontal than um, slanted. You know what I mean? But if that's what you're going for, then it's good. That's okay. I'm a beginner, and I'm on week four of woofing. My hair is coarse. What do I tell my barber? Says. DiMaggio hand. So basically, DiMaggio, if I'm saying your name right, hopefully I am. Basically, tell your barber to give you <clears throat> a 1.5 with the grain. I think that should be good. Or even a 1 with the grain. It all depends. All right. Over time, you, you'll figure it out. But tell them to put the one guard on there. All right. Maybe don't close the one guard all the way because that's low, actually. Like, I don't know, like, it's so, something weird. When I used to cut my hair with a double zero guard, I don't even know, man, it's so weird. Because now when I cut my hair with a one and I close the blade all the way, like, it seems so low. I don't know what's up, man. How long should I brush each session? Because I only do 10 to 15 minutes about four to five times a day. So 10 to 15 minute brush sessions for, that's about like, let's just say an hour of brushing a day. That's what you do. You're gonna need much more brush work than an hour of brush work a day, honestly, bro. <clears throat> It's cool to get, you know what I mean, the breath sessions in, because those are like mini breath sessions. We're going to be real right now. Y'all ready for the real, the real reality? I'm about to drop the real reality. <clears throat> I got to plug this laptop in. <clears throat> Y'all ready for the real reality? I'm, I'm going to tell y'all the truth. You're going to need to do more brush work than that, bro. You're going to need much more brush work than that. We're going to do the peel back challenge right now or not? 10 
minute breath sessions four to five times a day is not enough. I know it may sound like a lot, oh, an hour of brushing. That's, oh, that's a lot of time to brush your hair. But if you got coarse hair, a hair texture similar to mine, then I'm sorry to tell you, bro, but an hour of brush work in a day ain't gonna get your waves on the next level, all right? That's, hmm, that's cool if you already have like your wave pattern in there already, but if you're trying to build your wave progress, to be successful, fully connected, full 360. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. Four 10 minute breath sessions a day ain't cutting it. That's slacking. That's what you do when you're slacking, when you don't got no time. I know, I know, like I said, I know it sounds tough. Let me give you a more of an idea of how much is enough, all right? Because we, you know, we say, I say all the time, oh, brush your hair a lot, man. Brush your hair as much as you can. You know what I mean? But, <laughs> but I'm, I'm going to try and get more specific right now so you should kind of understand. If you want to make some good progress, wow, it's going to sound crazy to y'all. But I'm talking, y'all want, want me to say a number? I think y'all want me to say a number. I'm going to give y'all a number. <laughs> They're gonna be like, you're crazy, Rashad. I'm not about to pay. <laughs> Look, man, I'm trying to think back to how many hours was I brushing a day. I think I had five hour brush days. You know, that's like a full day of work right there. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> it's a full time job trying to get these waves on the swim. I'm telling you, bro, four hours is a good amount of brush time. And I'm like, just collect, I don't mean you gotta sit there for four hours straight and just go in like for four hours, freaking your mom or whoever go to work, they come back and you're still in the same spot like this. <laughs> nah, I just mean like in total, when you add up how much time you was brushing in the entire day, if you could say, if you could safely say that you got like four hours of brush work in and then whole day, then you ain't you you putting in work, bro. You you going somewhere. Your wave your wave progress is about to be on the next level in no time. So y'all think I'm playing? Y'all think this is funny? But this ain't no game, all right? I like this do rag, man. This thing is too clean. It just be shining. <laughs> wow, y'all gonna love these three WP do rags, man. Let me see what y'all talking about. Rashad, how you get depth in waves? So basically to get depth in your waves, bro, it takes brush work and woofing time. Brush work and woofing time is gonna make your waves deeper. The longer you have waves for, the deeper they will become until you hit that plateau, the plateau which is basically set by your hair texture or how deep your waves will be looking. People with straighter hair textures, their waves look, they waves may have like an illusion of more depth, but that's just because their curl texture is more loose. So you know what I mean? The, um, it just has that effect of, being able to have more depth because it's, that curl is looser. It's not as small as the curve. You see what I mean? Y'all ready to see the waves? Let me get that in here. Right, 
Had to grab my heart. Blue WP. Red edition. This brush right here is a true hard brush. All right. Right now, I'm, my hair, it's not too short. You know what I mean? I could brush my hair with it. When I first got it, though, when I first got this 3WP Red Edition, I felt like it was real hard. But I think it got, I don't know, I don't think it got softer because, like, when I go like this, it don't feel softer. But it's just not as hard as I, I once thought it was. Like, I thought it was real hard when I first got it. Like, I thought it was, like, so hard that I was like, I'm only going to use this when I'm muffing heavy. All right. That's what I originally thought with this. This one right here. All right. That I literally thought it was that hard. But now I'm putting in brushwork with it. I don't know if, if I broke it in or not, but it don't seem as hard. Like, it's still hard. Don't get me wrong. Like, it's not soft, but it's just not over overly hard if that's if y'all understand what i mean it's almost like just like the perfect hard level That do rag really be doing it, doing justice. That three WP silky do rag, I'm telling y'all, that's gonna lay y'all your hair down something crucial. Man, I gotta look out for the wave game, man. The wave game be looking out for me. I had that three WP silky do rag on yesterday. I had it on for like, let me see. Like almost a full hour. It wasn't a full hour, but it was like almost an hour. Cause I was doing a photo shoot on Instagram. I don't know if y'all following 3WP on Instagram, but make sure y'all following 3WP on Instagram. Then after I finished the um the photo shoot, I took off the do-rag. My wave was laid down, something crucial. My whole like my hair, it was just like it was silky smooth. That's the best way to describe it. Is three hours of brushing enough? Is three hours of brushing good enough? Fresh Willie. Yeah, I think three hours is good enough too. All right. Um, two is like, you know what I mean? Two is like kind of decent. You know what I mean? It ain't bad, but then it ain't, you know I mean? it ain't nothing extraordinary. But like three hours, that might be like, you know I mean, like a sweet little spot right there. So if you could shoot for three hours of brush work in a day, then I think you could make some good progress. All right. Four, it's kind of, I don't want to say it's overdoing it, but you know you dedicated if you put in four hours of total brush time in an entire day. You dedicated. You're going somewhere, bro. You about to be spinning. Do you think cheap brushes make a difference? Says menace. mean and nice do i think cheap brushes make a difference basically i feel like you're asking me do i think that um a more expensive brush would get you better waves uh, excuse me <clears throat> no i don't feel like that because when i first started my wave journey um <clears throat> you know what i mean i wasn't using those super expensive brushes and I was, you know what I mean? I was making progress. So <clears throat> do I feel like, you know what I mean? A suit, a better, like more expensive brush is going to get you ways, you know what I mean? Better ways? No, nah, I don't feel like that at all. The thing is, like, when I was using the um, less expensive brushes, like I was using those any brushes, you know what I mean? Like it cost me like three, four dollars. I, I had to end up getting a new brush like every month because the brush would wear out. 
Like I put in so much brush work, like within three weeks, the, the bristles are leaning. Like the whole brush is leaning. <laughs> that made me think of like the free Meek Mill, but yeah, it made me think of a, <laughs> a Meek Mill song here. Like, yeah, rich nigga, I'm leaning. Yeah, rich nigga, I'm leaning. <laughs> the brush was leaning after three weeks of brush work. And I had to get a new one. Because when your br bristles are leaning to the side, <clears throat> you got a straight brush. I don't got no messed up straight brushes on me. But yeah, if your bristles leaning and you got a straight brush with them rolls, you will have to replace that. Facts, 3WP fam. What up, Wave fam? Fire. Hey, Fire, send me a, um, your email. You told me that your, your, um, your brush that you wanted in the giveaway, something didn't get delivered or something. I didn't reply to your email yet because I just got a lot of emails. But I don't know. I can't track it. It's like, tell me what happened, bro. Where you at, Fire? <clears throat> I didn't click the link, so I don't know where it's at. But free me. You already know. Free me. <laughs> It was out for delivery, but never showed up. So that's fire. Oh no, that's weird. <clears throat> that's weird, bro. It happens though. You should contact the post office. That's what you should do. Contact the post office, your local post office, and let them know what's up. Somebody said on Instagram, so silky and shiny, looks real hot with two T's. <laughs> it's a funny comment. Shout out to um, William Jack on Instagram. I know it wasn't on you. Yeah, man, I sent you. I sent the prize brush. I always send them. You got to talk to your local post office about that one. Yo. What up? Need help. My crown area and my side. Let's take a look at my crown. Let's see what the 3WP crown looks like. Let's see. As we can see, it's wavy. My crown area is wavy. You just gotta get around there, bro. Once your patterns start coming in, start putting some concentrated brushwork. If you don't put that concentrated brushwork on your crown or find a way that you could get real close to it, like find the right brushing angles. Oh, let me get a comfort. Yeah, you gotta find a comfortable brush pattern to like brush it in. But if you don't put that Concentrated brush working, your crown's never gonna come in looking nice and tight. I could tell you that. Let me grab my C and D brush. This some concentrated brush working. Grab you a C and B brush, bro. 
and just work on the crowd area like this. Bring it together. You gotta visualize the way you want your crown. Once you visualize the way it's coming out and the way that you want it, you gotta just commit, all right? You gotta commit to those brushing angles. If you don't commit to the brushing angles, then your crown, <clears throat> you gonna have a lot of trouble with it. Can you send me an iPhone 6? <laughs> Why are you asking that, little freaks? My hair is curly, but I can't get waves. If you got curly hair, all you gotta do is, you know what I mean, brush it enough so that it lay down, and your waves gonna start forming. But yeah, bro, like I was saying, for your crown area, you gotta commit to the uh, brush angles. If you don't commit to it, then, Hey man, you gonna have a lot of trouble with that crown. It's never gonna come in. I'm sad to say it, but it's not gonna come in. Do you? How do you maintain waves during football season? Basically, you just keep brushing. You know what I mean? And they're gonna stay in there. When I was playing football in high school, I had waves. My senior year, I had waves. And basically, whenever I took off my helmet, you know what I mean? If I went to the locker room, I'll brush my hair back into place. If, um, if I had to take my helmet off in practice, you know what I mean? I'll take it off this way, like I'll lift it up like that, and then kind of take it off with the green. It'll mess up my hair in the back a little bit, but you know what I, mean? I wasn't tripping too much on the back. And yeah, I just, I'll probably, I'll do this. Before I put the helmet back on, I mean, just rub my hair down, put it on with the grain, and yeah, just keep my hair just in the nice laid down format. That's pretty much it. That's what I was doing. One time though, I ain't gonna lie y'all, it was homecoming, I think. We went back into the locker room during halftime, and <laughs> I took off my helmet. <laughs> it's halftime, you know what I mean? You in the locker room chilling. And then I start brushing my hair. <laughs> my teammates got on me. They was like, one of my teammates. And then other people start trying to get in. It was like, no, you brushing your hair right now? <laughs> Man, we, we losing. And you over here brushing your hair. <laughs> Man, get your mind in the game, bro. <laughs> I was like, yeah, man. I'm just trying to brush my hair, man. It ain't that big of a deal. It ain't that big of a ah, it ain't that big of a deal. I'm just trying to get that brush work in, man. Come on, Donald. It was Donald. Trying to put me on blast for brushing my hair at halftime. How do you like how do you tie a durag? That's a good question. Let's get it. Tutorial popping off here. Which do rag am I going to use? I'm going to use this one. So I'm going to show you how to tie through WP do rag. Let me untie this real quick. So basically, bro, you got your do-rag, right? Silky or not, you got it? You want to take your do-rag? Now, as you can see, the do-rag has two sides. You got the side with the um, seam. You got the other side. Now, some people would consider this inside out if you put it on this way. But um, if you're a waiver, you'll find that you'll like to put your do rag on basically inside out with this line, with this seam on the outside. Because if you put it on 
this way with the seam underneath and tie it down, you'll end up having a little line in your waves. Now, that line isn't going to be permanent. You know what I mean? It's, ne it's never going to be permanent. It's just going to be basically an indentation. Like when you sit down for a minute on the couch, you get up and you see like your little print or whatever, your body weight print. That's basically what you'll see. You'll see the print of that line. But when after a few minutes, you know what I mean, the couch don't stay with the print in it, the, the print goes away. This is basically the same with your hair. You'll brush and then the print will go away or whatever. <clears throat> but yeah, just to avoid that little print and having that there on your masterful piece your masterful ways, you just flip that inside out and have the seam on the outside. All right, so now, you know what I mean? The do-rag is on your head. Now, this is the way I do it. Now, I take my little do-rag and I bring it up to my the very tip of my hairline right here. The, the reason why I put it to the tip of my hairline right here is because, is because I want to prevent the line on my forehead. Now, you can still occasionally get a line on your forehead, and I'm going to show you how you can get that line on your forehead. But look, let me show you. You get less of a line on your forehead if you um, do it like this. Because some people, they like to, you know what I mean, put it right way down here on their forehead. But if you put it right here, you're like almost certain to get a line if you got it compressed well. You know what I mean? So that's why I just put it at the tip of my hairline right here. Barely on the edge, barely. And then that's when I basically take my strings. I got the strings, and you know what I mean? I just boom. Now, at this point right here, you could pull it tighter, but I, I don't really pull mine tighter. I just make sure, you know what I mean? It's secure, it's in a secure, position you know what i mean i don't make it tight super tight i don't pull it tight it doesn't need to be that tight that's how i feel and then at this point right here hopefully y'all can see what i'm doing at this point right here you tie your blue rag now i mean you could put a little bit tighter as you feel at this point I'm trying to tie it so I can see. This is how I tie mine. I just tie it in the real knot. And that's pretty much it. Your do rag is tied. Now, the next step. You know I mean, it's looking cool now, you know what I mean? It's straight. But <clears throat> the thing is, you could do it in a more comfortable position. Like, it's cool now. Like, don't get me wrong. You know what I mean? You could take a look at it. It's all good. The do rag is securely fashioned on my head. Now, this is cool, but it's not that comfortable. You know what I mean? Now, my do rag isn't too tight because I didn't, I didn't, you know what I mean? Just boom and put a pressure on there. I just had it nice and, you know what I mean? Barely put a little pressure so that it, I know it could just securely stay on even when I'm sleeping. But here goes the next trick. So, if you want to keep it like this, just, you know what I mean, pull your strings up a little bit. And the reason why you're going to pull them up a little bit is because you don't want the strings on your forehead because that's going to leave the line. So what I do is if I was to keep, if I was to keep it like this, then um, I would just pull it up a little bit onto my hair. That way there will be no pressure on my forehead to have the line. But yeah. How I recently started to um, wear my do rags is I let me get closer so y'all can see it. See what I'm doing is instead of leaving it all mangled up like this, what I do is let me separate these strings real quick. I just take one down so that I can get to the to the other one, and I just pull up. I pull the strings and I make them like this flat as in one just one uniform flat line the reason why i'm doing this is because for one it makes it much more comfortable to wear the do-rag 
the reason why it makes it more comfortable is because when you pull it like this, when you put it flat like that, it spreads the pressure. And so all the pressure isn't in just one small line, it's spread out among that strap, all right? And then after that, I take the other one and I just do the same thing to it. I spread out the string, the do-rag string. And yeah, they're on top of each other now. And yeah, it's much more comfortable to wear your do-rag like this. If you if you try it and you do this to your do-rag, you're gonna see. Now, if your do-rag strings are super duper long, then you might find that it's still uncomfortable. And that's probably just because there's so much stringage on your do-rag, you have to wrap it around so many times. And you know what I mean? If you gotta wrap it around so many times, it could be uncomfortable. This one right here, this 3WP do-rag, the strings are long, you know what I mean? But they're not super, super duper extraordinarily long, all right? I made them like long enough that you could get like a good two wraps around. Like you have to just wrap it around twice and you could cut it and you could um, tie it, you know what I mean? So that's the thing with those, with these. Another thing, if you want to avoid that line, after you spread them like this, you might not notice it, but you start going over the line. You know what I mean? It's on your forehead again. So you could just pull them back a little bit and make sure that the string is not on your forehead. Just kind of fix it up. And so that's on your hairline instead of on your forehead, and you avoid those wants. You Gucci, you rocking your do rag now. Can I get everybody in the building right now to hit the like button right now if you haven't hit it? <clears throat> you know why? Because we're about to do a giveaway. Shout out to all my waivers that are in the building. We're about to give away two different brushes. We're about to give away two 3WP brushes. <clears throat> Did y'all hit the like button? Shout out to Fresh Willie. Let me see some. Okay, can we get 200 likes? We got 173, 174, but can we get 200? That's the biggest question of them all. Let me see who asked some questions. I have both a stocking cap and a do-rag. What is better? I think do-rags are better than wave caps and all other caps. I have both, I already read that. Dab for the waivers one time. Yeah. Yeah. Dab. Hey. <laughs> My right side. What up, JC? My right side won't get waves, but. But what, Juicy John? I use both. What up, Drew? You already know. John Pat Baptiste or Gene Baptiste. Fresh Willie. Keep up the good work, bro. What do you think about? Kits. What do I think about kits? I don't like them. You know what I mean? Basically, I'm playing. It all depends what type of kit it is. Is it if it's like some type of chemical kit? Then you know what I mean. I wouldn't mess with it. I personally wouldn't do it. I wouldn't put those chemicals on my scalp. I wouldn't alter my hair texture because you know what I mean. I love my hair. I love my hair texture. 
So yeah, if it's an unnatural chemical kit that's used to alter your hair, then I don't mess with it. How long the durag supposed to be on? And how come the middle of the top of my head won't get waves? You put your durag on normally for like 20 minutes plus, all right? You sleep with it on, you put the durag on to lay your hair down for the most part. It takes about like, it all depends on the durag that you're wearing, you know what I mean, the material, but it could take anywhere from like 15 minutes to like even, I wanna say an hour, depending on the durag you got on. And also the length of your hair, that also plays a role in how fast your hair lays down and how nicely it lays down. Also, if you got kit products in your hair, like that does affect the way that your, your hair lays down. So all that comes into play. But normally put your durag on for 20 minutes and no matter what stage of woofing you are on or whatever, products you got in, your hair is going to be laid down. What else you ask? He says, how come he don't get waves in the middle or the top of his head? So basically, bro, you got to just put in that brushwork. Just go right there. As y'all can see, my hair is much more laid down than it was before I put that do-rag on. Wow, that 3WP do-rag is amazing. The silky one, man. Wow, look at them waves. Y'all see that? Hey, y'all gonna love them 3WP silky durags, man. Bruh, look at this. <laughs> y'all seen what that durag did? Oh, wow. You see? And my hair wasn't laid down when I started this video, to be honest with y'all. And y'all could probably tell it wasn't looking too wavy when I first showed it to y'all. But put that young durag on. Laid it down, something crucial. You ready for that giveaway? If you just got in the building, hit that like button because we're about to do that young giveaway. I just love all these 3WP brushes. Do we got 200 likes? Put that brush work in, y'all. I'm putting brush work in right now.
Brush work. Brush work. This gold edition is something crucial. If you don't got a gold edition, you slacking, bro. Get yourself a gold edition. This gold edition just glides so well. I've got the medium and a hard brush, but the bristles are uneven. Do I need a new brush? If your bristles are misaligned and they're not in the same straight type of position that they were when you got the brush, then I suggest you replace those brushes. I use two brushes to brush my hair at the same time, says Juicy John. So Juicy John, he ain't playing no games. He like this with it, like, say what's up with me. I'm making all progress. He like this, like, boom, get at me, bro. Double brush work. Double brush work. <laughs> Hey, this will speed up your process, though. Double br Hey, this is actually pretty cool. I think you own to something, John. <laughs> he own to something, y'all. Double brush work. He getting waves in half the time. <laughs> How to win the giveaway. So basically, to win the giveaway, all you got to do, bro, let me see. Let me see. How many likes we got? We got 193 likes. We almost at 200. When we hit that big 200, we'll start that young give that young giveaway. I got the Diane 9161. Is that good? 61. I don't know what the 61 is. Yes, sir, Drew. I need a brush, Keith Malone says. Show me out, 3WP. Shout out to Xavier Miner. What up with you, Xavier? Are your brushes and do-rags going on sale for Christmas? Like the price going down? Tim Bone A ass. Am I going to do a Christmas sale or a holiday sale? Let me see, should I do that y'all? Should I do a sale for the waivers? What y'all think? I need a wave for it, says Jamique. Do y'all think that I should do a sale on the 3WP brushes? Hmm, you know what? I might do a sale for y'all on the holiday season around December. All right, just stay tuned. Make sure you're on the email list on 360wayprocess.com. If you're not, you know what I mean? Just go to 360wayprocess.com and you'll see it on the homepage. Um, sign up for email updates. So enter your email there. And you know what I mean? Verify it if, if it asks you to verify it. And then uh, you're going to be in the loop. All right, stay in the loop. All right, for sure. I am Tabon. I gave him the idea. Y'all better thank me, says Timbo. <laughs> Is any a military brush good? Yeah, that one good, bro. I used to use that one. I'm getting the red brush and the do rag. Appreciate you, fire. Supper shot. Is it okay to use pomade? If you like pomades, you like the way they affect your hair, then you know what I mean? Go ahead and do it. You can use it. I see it, Xavier. I see I say it. Y'all well, know what that means. I'm about to go in my bag. I'm going in my bag, y'all. 
Y'all remember this bat? Press three if you remember this bat. But you know what's funny? If you remember this bag, you know I, I wasn't able to do this too. Because it was full. That's how many brushes I gave away. Since, you know what I mean, y'all seen this bag full of brushes. But it's cool. You know what I mean? I like giving brushes to my way fam. Because the way fam support me, so you know what I mean? I love to do this. I love this. I've been giving away brushes since before I even have brushes. That's just because, you know what I mean? I love all the support y'all give me. I like to keep y'all motivated. Hmm. But today we're giving away one blue edition and one crowning beard brush. Which one should we give away first? Should we give away a blue edition first or should we give away a CMB brush? I'm trying to figure it out because I'm kind of confused right now on which one I should do. This is CMB brush right here. The CMB brush is very good for your crown area. It's a crown brush, all right? It's specifically designed for the crown area to get precise brush work around the crown area. You get your crown area, you get your, your, um, your CMB brush, and the reason why it's so beneficial is because of its size and its shape. When you go to your crown area, due to the size of the brush, you already just automatically get, you automatically just start to brush in that area. You don't get, like, let's just say, for example, if you're trying to do crown work with this brush, you'll, tell, I mean, you'll do your crown work and then you'll go all the way down, you know what I mean? So you're not paying special attention to your crown. You're still trying to focus on this wave pattern direction and this wave pattern. But that's only right, you know what I mean? Because you're trying to maximize your brush strokes. But with this one right here, when you go into that crown area, you could do that, you know what I mean? You could do this, but then you start to realize how how much work this is to just try and go cover all these spots with this little brush. So you just tend to stay within that crown area. You see what I mean? And that's gonna help your crown area big time because you're just being more precise with it. Also, it's a good pocket brush to carry around with you, you know what I mean? Let me show you real quick. Oh, shit. I almost broke my chair. Oh, shit. Taki mushrooms. <laughs> I'm just go like this. What am I doing? I could just move the webcam down like this. <laughs> you just put the brush in your pocket like this. And you barely notice it's there. You know what I'm saying? It's convenient, y'all. I'm telling you. This CMB brush is convenient. And then you could just whip it out your pocket and get a nice quick little brush session in. Boom. The feel of this one right here is like it's like a medium feel. All right. Let me get a blue edition real quick and compare it to a blue edition. Oh, that's not right. If I compare it, hmm. Trying to figure out which blue edition this is. Just a new school blue edition. Um, let me grab one of these new school blue editions real quick. We still doing that young giveaway. I hope y'all ready. If you're not, make sure you follow in 360 Wave Process on Instagram. All right. So I wanted to say that this one is a little bit harder than the blue edition, but it's not. When I when I just use this blue edition right here. It's about the same, but this one, it, it's like one step like less hard than the blue edition, but it's still medium, all right? But yeah, quick little breath session, good for the connections. You glide it on your connections like this. 
put in that work. Take it from your crown area. Now it's good for me right here to go all the way down because I already chose my angle right here. And my angle is just like this. Boom, straight down. So, straight on the connections. Connection brush too. The way that you grip this, and I'm saying this because one of y'all might win this one right now. Well, not this exact one, but one of these. You, you grab it with two fingers, your thumb and your middle finger, or you could, yeah, your thumb and your middle finger. And then you take your pointer finger, you put it right here for that extra control, and then you got the control of it. If you got one of these already, you could take these notes and you could use it like this when you get, when you, you know what I mean, when you get your breath sessions in. And you just go, go ham with it on your connections or your crown. I should have called this a connection crown brush. Connection and crown brush. The 3WP connection and crown brush. All right, so y'all want me to give away a blue brush first, I see. How do you win a brush? You about to figure it out right now, bro. You in the right place at the right time. Let me see. If you just got in the building, we about to do a giveaway. Just make sure you hit that young like button. And make sure you subscribe. Seeing something on my timeline. Boom, 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 boom. My bad, y'all. I'm about to start this giveaway. I'm just moving something real quick. I'll do this later. To enter the giveaway right now, what you have to do is mm -hmm. I'm trying to figure out what I want y'all to do. Didn't know I says, can we ask questions? Yeah, you can, bro. But you gotta ask it when I'm paying attention so I can answer it. I mean, so I can see and then answer it. What up, fam? The no handle hard brush coming out at the same time as the silky durag. Um, let me see. Well, right now it's looking like I'm gonna end up dropping, you know what I mean, the red edition with the handle and the handle brush red edition i mean the no handle i'm gonna drop these before the do rags don't take my word 100 for it because you know what I mean? i'm trying to get these out at the same time but i mean i mean i'm just working i'm working trying to do it but as far as i can say i'm pretty confident that you know what i mean i got the the release dates for these two right here set for you know what i mean the first week of december 
and then I'm mailing these off, the pre-orders and all of that. Appreciate it, Ben. Diaz, what's good, fam? I got thick, curly, frizzy hair. All right. Hmm. Instagram, I do Instagram. You know what? All right, so what I'm about to do is I'm about to make a post in the 3WP WaveFam Facebook group, all right? If you don't have... If you don't have... um, If you're not in part of the Facebook group of 3WP Wave Family on Facebook, then go to Facebook right now and type in 3WP Wave Family and join the group. 3WP Wave Family. Type that in on Facebook. If you don't have Facebook, then you're just going to have to wait till the next giveaway. All right. So if you want a chance to win a 3WP Blue Edition like this, then yeah, go to Facebook and comment on the post that I'm about to post right now. I'm about to post, let me see. I'm about to post a photo. I'm gonna show y'all what photo I'm posting too. I posted this photo right here. Comment on the picture of this and I'm gonna pick somebody. All I, all I put was dad. This is what the Facebook page look like. It's a group, all right? It's a Facebook group. You gotta join. We got 10 member requests right now. I just approved them all. I'm waiting for y'all to ask to join. And I'm gonna accept y'all right now. And you know what I mean? I'm gonna go through and pick somebody. I'm active on Facebook. Is this Instagram? Is this Instagram or is this Facebook? If you just got here, we're doing a giveaway. Go to Facebook and join the 3WP Wave family. Type that in to Facebook and then join that group. I will then approve your request to join. And then what I want you to do is comment on the new post. Let me show you what the post look like. This is what the post is. All right, comment on this picture right here, anything you want. We got waivers already commenting. These people right here are in the running to win a 3WP wave brush. All right, this one right here. Well, not this particular one because I already opened this one up, but um, you're gonna win one of these. If you don't have a Facebook, then um, what I suggest for you to do is I just approved 13 more requests. If you don't have a Facebook, I suggest that you wait for the next giveaway of this C and B brush right here. All right, one of these, because we're gonna do this next giveaway, not on Facebook. All right, so I'm gonna give this a little bit more time for people to, you know what I mean, add if they didn't add already, so they could get a chance to leave their comment on that picture. Yes, sir, John. I got a 3WP Blue Edition already, though, says Mike Miner. All right, so you already got a Blue Edition. 
you could choose, you know what I mean? If you want one of these and you win, then just be like, yo, 3WP Rashad, let me get the CMB brush, all right? And I, I send you a CMB brush. I'm giving y'all more time to, you know what I mean, leave y'all a comment and also for people to add the page if they didn't add it. We got two people, Andre and then we got Jarnell. The 3WP Wave Family Facebook group is there to motivate waivers who already, you know what I mean, reached their plateau and reached their, you know what I mean, their peak of their wave career as far as the progress that they got. And it's also um, there to, to um, provide beginner waivers with motivation and help to their questions. If you post a picture in the 3WP Wave Family Facebook group, then the Wave family is going to help you if you ask a question, all right? They've been doing a good job, and I'm, I'm really appreciative because, you know what I mean, I'm not always able to answer every question that people send my way. I don't know if you guys sent me a message on Instagram before, but nowadays I'm not able to you know, reply to every message like I used to do. And I really prided myself back in the days on, you know what I mean, replying to every single comment that I got on YouTube. And I still do, you know what I mean, my very best to reply to every comment. <clears throat> but yeah, on the 3WP Wave Family Facebook group, they're going to take care of you, man. The Wave Family, the realest, man. What do we have to do? If you just got here, I'm going to say it one more time before we move on and pick a winner from this giveaway because we're doing two giveaways before we end the live stream. So to enter into this first giveaway that is going on right now for a 3WP Blue Edition Wave Brush, go to Facebook and type in 3WP Wave Family. That's the Facebook group, the 3WP Wave Family Facebook group. Join that group and then comment on this picture right here. Let me show you the picture. This is a picture I want you to comment on. I just posted this picture in the Facebook group. The Facebook group is closed, so you have to be a member in order to see what goes on in the group and to, you know what I mean, be able to comment on that picture. So you join the Facebook group, 3WP Wave Family, and um, just leave that comment. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick somebody. And I'm gonna pick somebody right now, actually, all right? Let's see who left the comment so far. I just approved three, three different requests right now. I got you, Jake. All right, let me see. So we got 89 comments right now. I'm giving it a few more minutes right now because I know some people just went to to add the page. Oh, my phone just died. Ah. Oh, it didn't die. It just I don't know what it did. It did some weird stuff. It's hot up in here now. All righty. I just be showing love to everybody. That's my website. 
<laughs> That's dope. <laughs> All right, I think the last few people should have um, sent their request in. So now I'm about to go through these comments right now. Hmm, it's hard to load all of these at one time. I might have to log on to my computer so I can load all the comments. Oh, there we go. Hmm, okay. I cannot see because. Welcome to the darkness. I just broke my chair. Oh my God, I'm sad. <laughs> Look what I did to my chair. Oh, I'm hurt right now. I'm so hurt. I broke it when I was trying to um, stand on it to show y'all how to put the CMB brush in your pocket. I bent the screws. That's cold. All right, I fixed it. Barely. It's still, it's janky now, though. I bent the wood and all of that. I got a janky chair. All right, I was just trying to show y'all the, um... I was just trying to let y'all see this, see if the camera focus. There we go. Still don't focus right. Webcam for the L. Or right, I'm about to just pick somebody. Who is this? Kevin. We got Jason. We got Jornil. Denali. We got Rara. Dexter. I'm gonna load all of these. We got Kevin. I should like Kevin. I thought you was in Las Vegas, Kevin. Man, y'all doing hella comments right now. 21 new comments. We got Jaden in the building. I want to pick Denali. I hate when that should happen. When notification pop up. My phone. Man, this iPhone be glitching. I'm going to take this thing back. The apps don't be working right with it. Especially Instagram. Jordi Namir. I'm gonna let Jordi win. Congratulations to Jordi. I'm gonna message Jordy right now. I 
I'm emailing a message in Jordy right now. Um, we got one more giveaway after this of the CMB brush, so stay tuned. All right, so I just messaged Jordy in and told him how to claim his prize. Now we're about to give away one of these CMB brushes. Let me grab a CMB brush. We're ready to win a CMB brush. If you're ready to win a CMB brush, press nine. Can I get a shout out? I have I have 12 subs and on a come up, says Young Finney. Young Finney, he on a come up, y'all. All right. Let me get a silky do rag, says Mike. Hmm. When they come out, I'm gonna do a giveaway on the live stream. I got y'all on the do rags for this next one. Alrighty, I see y'all was ready. This time, what you gotta do is, let me see. I'm going on to a different platform. Go to Instagram. and like the top six pictures of the 3WP Instagram. And then on this picture right here, comment 3WP, just comment whatever you want. And yeah, I'm gonna pick somebody. So like the top six pictures and then comment on that second picture like these six pictures one two three four five six and then comment on this one comment on this one after you finish so like all of those six right there and then comment on that one and we're about to pick somebody to win a cmb brush I'm waiting for y'all, man. All 
Ocean Squad. Comment Ocean Squad on that picture if you didn't comment yet. Ocean Squad. Let me know when y'all finished. If you if you already did it, come in here and print done. If you liked all the pictures. Y'all done? All right, I see that y'all done. So I'm about to go on Instagram right now. Please make sure you have left your comment on this picture right here. If you didn't leave it on this one, then you're missing out on your opportunity to win. So make sure it's on this picture. All right, it's the second picture. You see it? Is that picture right there? Because I've seen somebody left it on the first one. All righty. Ocean Squad came through. I'm loading up all of the comments. Let's see who I went over to win right now. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna scroll down a little bit because they commented originally when the first thing popped up. All righty. I just go through. Let me see who I want to pick. Fire. Friends. We I think we got a winner. It went away though.
Today I am picking it disappeared. Frizz. Willie, you won, Frizz. At Frizz, Willie has won the Instagram giveaway, you guys. That's the um, last giveaway of today. As you know, every time 3WP go live on YouTube, there's going to be a giveaway. As long as I have 3WP brushes, we're going to continue this tradition. 3WP tradition, y'all. I appreciate y'all support. Thank you for tuning in for this live stream. We're going to go out with this live stream by um, answering some final questions that y'all may have. And yeah. I'm going to um, see you on my next video where, what, what video do I have planned? I have the video planned where I pop up the pictures and answer the questions, all right? And then after that one, I got some more heat coming soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 3WP. I think he clicked mine, but I didn't post, so he swiped away, says Terrence. Maybe, bro. I just be swiping. I be liking your pictures. Y'all going ham right now. Look at this. Who is this? Tommy. Wow, that's crazy. What is this? Is it going to keep going? I think it stopped. Oh, that's crazy. Y'all see that infrared? That's that freaking iPhone trying to scan my face and shit. It be scanning 24-7, just blinking. Let's see if it get my face and unlock. <laughs> wow, that's so weird, huh? Ain't that weird? You didn't look at mine. Pick me. Maybe next time, next giveaway. It's a giveaway every time. Do y'all think that's weird that it does that infrared light every time? But you can't see it with your naked eye. I push back my hair. I get waves. When I push back my hair, it's get waves. The fuck does that mean? I don't know, bro. I don't know what you mean by that. Is sporting waves a good grease? I personally don't use that product because I don't like the way it affects my hair. Thanks for liking my pics, Rashad. No problem, bro. Is it bad if your hair sticks out your do-rag at night? Um, it's not necessarily bad. It just means your hair not super laid down. Yo, Durag got some loose fibers. I don't know. As long as it does the job of laying your hair down, though, then you're good. I need waves on the side. And that brushwork, bro. Bro, you, who you pick? I don't have any picks yet. Sonny Santana. Who did I pick? I'm going to show y'all who I picked.
Oh, I didn't even show y'all. Let me. I was telling them how to claim this prize, but this is the winner right here. What is the best brush to use, says King Boss. I suggest you use a medium brush, bro. A medium or hard would be best as a beginner. What up, Jay Higgs? What up, King Boss? Can I still get, I don't know what you mean. The giveaways are over for tonight. And the, the video is pretty much over. I just want to answer some last few questions that any of you might have. Is it bad if hair sticks out of the top of the durag? If so, what can I do to prevent it? It's not necessarily bad, but that kind of um, goes against the point of a do-rag because your do-rag is supposed to lay your hair down. And if your hair is sticking through the do-rag, then it's not obviously not doing a good job of laying your hair down because your hair is penetrating it. So get you a do-rag that got fibers that your hair won't stick through. Oh, did I break the mirror? I just broke it. First I broke my chair and now I broke my mirror, y'all. I'm sad. I'm about to end the live stream. I'm about to um, do some other work. I got some editing to do for the party vlog channel. And yeah, I'm gonna see my waivers later in my video in a couple days, all right? Deuces. I'm gonna stay in the chat though and I'm gonna chat with y'all for a little bit. So I mean, stay tuned.